<laughs> well, 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 look what the wind blew in. So you want to learn about the music business, huh? All right, let's get started on REN 101. All right, today we're going to talk about agents. Agents. Most people think when you're talking about agents, they're thinking about Entourage and Ari Gold, but that's not really what's going on. Agent is one of the most important people in your career. Your booking agent is the manager's right-hand person to the concert biz. The agent is the guy that's going to be calling up the promoters. He's going to be talking with them about the deal, securing the venues, making sure that your merchandising rates are, are secured ahead of your gig. He's going to be interfacing on a daily basis with the promoter, reporting back to the manager, so a key person. Now an agent, typically a live agent gets 10% you know, when they start out. As bands get a little bit bigger, <clears throat> the agent might take a little bit less because it's off a much bigger number. But in general, they're 10% guys and they go out and they earn their money. Uh, it's a tough job, but one of the most important people you can have on your team is your agent. You will discuss tour routing with your agent. You will discuss the big picture, where you're going to start your tour, the kinds of venues that you want to play. Um, you might discuss who the promoters are that you would like to play for. Once you've had that discussion with your agent, he's going to go out and talk to the promoters. He's going to tell them what venue you want to play. He's going to make sure that promoter's got that venue on hold. And he's also going to negotiate your deal. Um, once the date is on sale, all of your, much of your, your conversation with the promoters is done through your agent. If there's problems, your agent's going to get involved. If there are details that need to be sorted out, ticketing in, in marketing and promotion, your agent is going to be your conduit to the promoter. He works for the manager in conjunction with the manager. The manager makes the final decision, but the agent books the dates. A lot of people wonder why you need an agent. Why can't the manager do that? Well, there's a law that says that agents are in charge of securing employment for an artist. Managers can approve the employment. They can talk about where you might like to work, but it's the agent's job contractually and legally to actually book the dates. They want to, the, the, the law wants to have some separation between the guy saying yes to the dates and the ones that are actually booking it. Now, when you're first starting off in the business, you want to get an agent, but the reality of it is that your first agent is likely to be somebody in the band. He's going to be the guy that made that first call to the club owner, the second call to the next club owner. And once you've gotten gigs and start to get gigs and start selling tickets, you have the kind of success going that will attract an agent at the next level up of the game. So if you're the drummer, if you're the guitar player, and you are acting as the agent in the early days, don't worry about that. That's part of the game here. But ultimately, you want to hand it off to a real agent who has a whole bunch of clients that they can use to leverage your position in getting into gigs. Now, there are a number of major agencies out there in the business. There's the William Morris Endeavor, there's CAA, there's a lot of big agencies out there that handle national touring attractions. There are also a number of regional agents out there. There are college agents that deal specifically with colleges. So depending where you are in your career, in your development process in the live business, will have some impact on who your agent's going to be. Most agencies today don't want to take on a lot of young bands because they're just not going to make any money at it. They might spend more time getting a $300 gig and getting their 10% wouldn't cover the phone calls to take it. So you, at the end of the day, you want to be working with the major agencies, but you might start a level or two down the food chain. You've got to figure out where you are in the game and figure out who the best agent is at that level of the game and find them, get them on the team, and treat them right.